Hello friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I am going to show you one of my new very, very, very simple granny squares. And I haven't decided what to name it yet. It's pretty easy and I'm thinking it's just going to be called my new mesh square. I'm not sure. But this one is really, really simple and I'm making this one for a reason. Because as you can see, I have tons and tons of them. And look, I even have another bag full here. I think I'm at 56. So I'm going to show you how to make this. And we have another huge project coming that's made with these squares. And I think you just need to make like 60 of them and then we'll put them together. So what I've been using is all of my remnants of my Lion Brands cupcakes or um, mandala or any of those things. I'm just using all of these remnants because I have so many great colors in here and I have a lot of little tiny pieces left over. So I've been making squares like crazy. I'm going to show you how to make this. It's so easy, so simple. And you can use it for a gazillion different things. It'd be nice for people who live in warmer climates and don't need really warm blankets. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! Alright, so we start out with the magic circle. If you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a very quick tutorial on how to do it a super easy way, but all we do is like this, cross over, we have two, go under the first one, pull the back one towards you, and then go and grab the other side. Done. Oh, and of course, this is my four millimeter prim. Everybody knows my pink prim because this is one of my favorite hooks. So we're going to chain five. There's our magic circle is all ready to go. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. chain two and then do another cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. And chain two. One, two, and three, and chain two. So there's corner number one. You can see right here corner one, corner two, corner three, and then we just chained corner chain two for corner four, but we have to finish this grouping. So now I'm going to go and put in just two double crochet. And then we slip stitch into our third chain of five. So that would be one, two, and three. Slip stitch right in there. And now we can pull our middle. And you can see I have a tiny, tiny square. You can see on this guy, he's right here. And we're going to work out six times. So I'm going to show you one round. And you'll have the hang of it. So again, we want to chain five. So what we're doing with our chain five is one, two, three is a double crochet. And then there's our chain two in between. So we made a double crochet with the chain two. And now in this same square in the corner right here, three double crochet. One, two, and three. And now in between the clusters, chain two and we just jump over to our corner, double crochet times three and chain two and another double crochet cluster of three. One, two, and three. So you can see we started this corner. We'll finish this one in a little bit. There's our chain two and then this corner is done. So it's a three double crochet cluster, chain two in between, and then another cluster in every corner. Chain two, jump over to the next corner and do what we just did. 
two clusters of three double crochets with a chain two in the middle. There's my first cluster, two chains, and here's another cluster of three double crochets to finish this corner. There you go. Chain two, jump to the next corner, and we'll do three double crochets again. You'll be able to pop these out so fast. Chain two, and then another cluster of three double crochets. So all of that was super easy. And now we just have to finish our very first corner, because remember we did half of that. Kind of like when we're working on a virus, that first corner is always about half done or so. So we're gonna chain two, like we did in between all of our other clusters. And in this space right here, where you worked your original three, we're going to put in two more double crochets. One, and two. And now to finish this round, to close it all up, we have to slip stitch like we did the first time into our chain five. We want to slip stitch on our third chain. So you're gonna have two chains up here for our chain two. Slip stitch right here into this guy. And that's round two already. So now you can see how easy peasy this is. You know, I don't like knots and I don't like things that show. So that's the middle right here. Right here. Middle and then their very first round. All the way around it. Alright, so all we do is that for a total of six. So you can see here's the center and then that would be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'll show you how to start the next one. Just another reminder, it's exactly the same as it was the first time. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, which counts as a double crochet and our chain two. And in that same corner space, three double crochet. And we'll finish that corner in a little bit. Chain two. Now we jump over to this space. It's not a corner because we're increasing. So this is a simple three double crochet cluster. And then chain two in between as we have been doing on all of these. Now we found a corner. So every time you're in a corner, it's three double crochet. chain two, and three double crochet again. And there's our corner. Now you chain two and you continue all the way around until you have six full rows and I will meet you back when I have a big square like this. And we're almost done. And I'm almost done. I have one full cluster here, one double crochet, two, double crochet, three double crochet, and I need my chain two. And then like we finished all the other ones in our corner, we have to put in two more double crochets to complete our corners. And then we'll slip stitch into our third chain, just like you did on all of the other ones. And that just goes like this. My yarn got really short. Here we go. Just slip stitch and pull through. See how simple this was? And this one measures, I believe this is a six, about six inches. It might be a little bit more. Six and a half, seven inches. Because these have a very special purpose. So I was using a four millimeter. This is three weight yarn. Just want it to be a nice, big, airy, meshy, you can see through it kind of square. So there you go. Make a whole bunch of these and meet me back here sometime next week for a really, really fun project. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks. Tell all your friends about me and stop back very soon. Thanks. Bye.